Hi everybody, Angela here with Ellicate Designs and I have a couple of videos today that uh, will show the journals that are going to be going in my Etsy restock that I've been working on for quite a while. Uh, so this video I'm going to try and fit both of these journals in. I might have to do kind of quicker flips than I normally do just to fit them all in because I've got quite a few journals today. So these two are both fabric covered journals and we'll start with this one here. So this one is approximately nine and three quarters by five and a half and 114 pages front and back. Uh, there's a couple of paper bags, glassine bags in here, tags, journal, cards, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll have all of the details on the Etsy listing. So this one I made the cover with vintage linens and laces. Not all of the laces are vintage. This one here, I don't know if you can see, is not vintage. Uh, but everything else I got from antique shops, thrift stores, that kind of stuff. And it's kind of like um, this main part of the, the cover was part of a table runner that's almost kind of quilted. It has the batting on the inside, so it's a little squishy. And the color scheme of this one is grays and neutrals. So... Some journal cards in the pocket. These are not as embellished as my usual ones. Uh, real quick, this is some really old vintage sheet music that I coffee stained and I had to reinforce the, the fold because it did crack a little bit so I just reinforced it with some washi tape. Um, yeah, so they're not as quite embellished. Uh, I wanted to leave lots and lots of room for journaling. I did do some stamping and lots of journaling spots. These journals are filled with all different kinds of paper. This is some vintage onion skin paper that I found at a thrift shop that I coffee stained. A large paper bag with some journaling cards or photo mats. They are colored, but they're a light, light gray and a light, you know, kind of creamy off-white. So they're light enough that you can journal on them. But there's just lots of different kinds of pages and lots of spots to write. This is a big envelope in the center of the first signature and it's just got a clip with some hand dyed seam binding and some fibers and some vintage lace. Some more stamping up here. Ledger paper. This is the other side of that big uh, paper bag. So I folded the one side over and made a tuck spot here with a journal card. And then the top is opened and there's a big tag in here. If I can get it out. And this is, um, it's a textured cardstock that I got that I coffee dyed. And I love the, the way it took the coffee staining. It's just great. So that's in there. And there's two of these kind of like flower clips that I like to make in the journal. And that can just clip here. There we go. Some more tags. And some more stamping. Some vintage buttons. 
Uh, I'm obsessed with making these Frankenstein pages that Nick the Booksmith showed us how to do in one of her videos. So a lot of my journals that you'll be seeing have a bunch of these in them, but I love using them for big envelopes. So this journal has two signatures, three pseudo signatures, because the middle signature is just this great big envelope here. And then we've got another pocket with a bunch of tags and some more vintage buttons and some cheesecloth there. This is some book pages from a poetry book of Robert Frost's poetry. This is some sketch paper from a sketchbook, like an artist's sketchbook. And again, the way it took the coffee staining was just awesome. As well as this. I love that. This is one of my pseudo glassine bags that I make out of the um, deli paper. And it just has a journal card on the inside of it. Or a photo mat, whatever you want to use it for. This is some cool paper I got at a thrift store. And this is that lightweight, like, typing bond paper. Some more notebook paper. Another big envelope in the center of the signature. With some stamping. And the other side of that glassine bag with some more journal cards in it. On the bottom is some sari silk and some vintage buttons there. Another flower clip. And the last page with the pocket and some more journal cards and tags and some seam binding and some fibers that I just made a little bow out of and that is it for that journal now the next one is a little bit different uh, everyone has been posting videos and pictures of their Traveler's Notebooks, and um, I love Traveler's Notebooks, but they're just a little too small for me. I like my journals to be a little bigger, so I made this, which is a Traveler Notebook style journal. However, it's a large one. The cover measures six by ten and a half. And the pages are like eight and a half by, was it five and a half? I think maybe. Um, and it has three inserts, and it's all creams and ivories and neutrals on the inside. It has, I think, 156 pages, and that's front and back. 22 tags, envelopes, bags. There's six clips with either fabric or lace on them. Um, there's some of these envelopes that I am loving making right now, and these are inspired by Nazi at Amity Bloom, her heirloom envelopes. They're my kind of take on them. I did a video a while back with some of these. Um, so it just sliced at the top for you to put your own goodies on the inside there. So there's a couple of those throughout this journal. And this one, similar to the last one in the sense of lots of blank pages, coloring book pages. I did some tabs, music sheets. I did some, these tabs are made out of Manila folder. There were some scraps I had. And then I just glued on these cute little ivory rosettes here. Uh, this is another envelope, and I just have it clipped on with one of the little Tim Holtz mini clips there. 
and the flap is embellished and it's empty on the inside so you can put whatever you'd like in there. Uh, this is the center of the signature here and this is some uh, another sketch book, artist sketch book that I took the pages out of and it has this really nice texture. It almost feels like handmade paper and I loved the holes up here but when it went into the book, it kind of pulled, so I just reinforced it with some, some washi tape at the top there. Got ledger, I've got some clips with lace on top, and some tabs with some lace. And I've got some journal cards and tags, and this is just a little glassy bag I've added some lace to, so you can put some goodies in there. And there's more of these little rosette trim here. And some more tags and a journal card, and this is another envelope that I've decorated with some just some music paper, some washi, some stamping, and then it's open on the side so you can tuck in some journaling cards or write a letter, whatever you'd like to do in there. Again, lots of different papers. This is some book pages from an art um, not an encyclopedia, but it's almost like an art textbook, art history, um, that I coffee dyed in the pages, the texture, it's just, they're so smooth. And the top of that paper clip just has some muslin that I've coffee dyed, some more notebook paper, some more tabs, <clears throat> excuse me. It's early here. I'm trying to squeeze in these videos before everyone else starts to wake up. Um, so that's just the center of the signature. I've got these long tails on the elastics so that you can adjust them if you need them tighter or looser. I wanted to leave that there as an option to adjust those. Uh, some more lace topped clips. Another pocket with some more journaling cards and this is one of the glassine bag envelope pseudo things I like to make right now it's just a big glassine bag but it's folded over as an envelope and you can tuck things inside there and it's just embellished with some washi tape and some cheesecloth the vintage button and uh, this is the it's not definitions from the Theosaurus for resourceful because us junk journalers are resourceful so I thought that was fitting <laughs> um, this is some really old vintage lace I got from an antique shop some more tags and journaling cards vintage buttons and such uh, this is just a paper bag that I've added some sari silk to and some flowers and fibers and clipped on there and it's got a tag on the inside so that can be moved around wherever you like it so like I said these are a little more plainer than usual there's still quite a bit of embellishment and sewing in them but I wanted to add just do some books with lots of different pages and lots of options for journaling so and you can add your own embellishments and decorate them how how you want um this is just coffee dyed paper um it's a lighter weight one i think it i think it might be one of the typing bond one or it could be just 20 pound but it it ripped a little bit when i was working in this journal so I just reinforced it with some some washi tape there and it's seven gypsies ledger washi so 
in the back is another couple of tags and a large envelope here that you can store some goodies in. And also, I mean, that's a lot of white space. You could also journal on that as well. So that is these two journals. Again, like the last one, the cover was made with vintage linens and doilies and laces that I've picked up from antique shops and thrift stores and have been hoarding. So that is these two fabric cover journals. These will be in my Etsy shop very soon. So thanks for stopping by and checking these out. I will be back with some more videos today. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.